Hi everyone, I'm Duncan from Auto Shine and Tintin. Excuse my croaky voice, but today we are discussing the difference between PPS, which is like spray on paint protection film, and PPF. This, is, this vehicle's got the Expo paint protection film on that we do in house. This vehicle's come to us. The gentleman who owns it thought it had BPF and he wanted us to fix some things, but unfortunately, we then found out it's not PPF, it is spray on which is something we don't do. But I've seen a lot of discussions on forums all the time about it, that a lot of people say this is better, and then you've got the PPF gang on. And I don't really get involved in the discussions because I don't want to appear like I'm biased because we don't do PPS, we only do PPF. Oh, this is gonna get so confusing today. But there is a reason we don't do PPS, and that is because, well, we're gonna get down to the bottom of it like, through this video, but there is a lot of it there's a lot of people really rating this. It's had a lot of push from companies with bit bigger social media presences than us, so that they've been pushing it. So we just want to talk about the two. This car has is done a fair few miles. We're not going to talk about the mileage because exactly. I don't know how many miles it's done, but it's done a few miles. This car's done a few miles. This has done about 6,000 miles now, I think, uh, with the PPF on it. There's PPF from brand new. Got a vinyl uh, wrap on it, which is an Innersatec Mamba Green, it's called, for everyone interested. And then it's got Expel PPF on top of it. Uh, it's got the extended package, so it's got from there forward the mirrors, uh, bottom of the doors, things like that. Uh, full front end, but we'll talk about that. Let's talk about the, the grey one, the one with the PPS on it. So firstly, PPS, you can have clear to keep the appearance of your car. So like this is a blue car underneath. So you could just spray the PPS on it and protect it just like you would with PPF. Uh, alternatively, you have the option of adding paint into the mixture and then that can change the appearance so you can have it any colour you want and you're not uh, sort of governed by like the vinyl wrap colours because you can only get vinyl wrap in certain colours, although there's hundreds of them. Uh, with this, you can mix any paint you want, just like if you were painting it. The only addition is they spray a rubberizer on the vehicle first, so that's what's in contact with the actual paint of the car, and then they put all the paint and the lacquer on top of that, and that's what makes it peelable. So this vehicle's obviously had the Nardo grey and the gloss black on top of the blue added. The biggest advantage that we see people talking about on forums, and it's totally understandable, is with this, there is no edges. We'll get on to why in a sec when we're talking about sort of downsides to what I view PPS has, but there are no edges because it's painted on. It's been stripped and it's been painted properly so it all goes round. So now we'll have a look at the same part on my vehicle and we'll see the difference with the PPF. Yeah. In certain areas we can't wrap the PPF round. So wherever we can, like on the bonnet, it's all wrapped around, there's no edges around that whatsoever. There's no edges there because it goes in. On this, because the PPF can't go in there it just we, well, there's nowhere for it to sit it's got to stop right on the edge before the panel starts to curve around so my ppf stops there as you can see the car's dirty there's no dirt in there nothing's lifting we've seen ppf installed and you get dirt in the edges that's normally when the ppf is fit too far over the curve so basically, if, if you've got the curve of the panel, the PPF's like that, and you get the dirt sat there. I know that that's not very scientific, but that's the curve of the panel, that's the PPF, and the dirt sits there. When the PPF is installed in the correct position, dirt won't sit there. I know this car's not white, but the same thing on white cars, if it's installed correctly. And if the edges are sealed correctly, they're never going to lift. You could hold a jet wash there. This, is, this isn't going to lift, it's not going anywhere. It's been on a, a good year now. Still looks like new, we, we jet wash it as normal. It, it just does its thing. So other than the fact, yes, you can see the edges, but that's not a downside. You could say, oh, you can see the edge of the bumper there. It's the same thing. It's a line, it's a panel join. It's not, it doesn't take away from the appearance of the vehicle. In my opinion, obviously. Other advantages of PPS. You can have any color you want, which we've already discussed. There are no edges. What else do we see people saying? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think there are any other advantages I've seen. What I believe is disadvantages. So firstly, the vehicle needs to be stripped. To do this properly, it's basically exactly the same as painting the car, only you are adding the rubberizer part of the PPS uh, onto the car first. So the whole vehicle needs to be stripped. The bumper's off, the bumper's split if it's been done correctly. You can't just mask around these parts because then you're gonna see the edges of the thing that takes away from the whole point of it. Uh, so the whole car needs stripping into every single bit, just like it was doing paint. Now, for me, that's a downside. I don't like 
my own new car taken apart. Uh, I have a lot of customers who are the same. Being able to strip a Range Rover and then being able to strip a Lamborghini Urus, two very, very different skills. We, we see that with the wrapping, it, it, it's very different. The cars are put together differently. You can't be an expert in taking every single car apart. It's just impossible. I just wouldn't want my car stripped. Moving on from that, and this is a perfect example of this car. So like we say, we don't know how many miles this car's done, but it's done a certain amount of miles with this coating on it. Now, this stuff's expensive. It's, it's about the same cost of having your car painted. Prices vary across different suppliers and you can pay up to sort of eight to ten thousand pounds from the companies in london and i've seen it down to about four four and a half grand i've never seen one under four grand for full car coverage and compare that to ppf ppf's gonna be about on an average size car about three grand plus the vat so it's about a thousand fifteen hundred quid cheaper to have ppf so my argument is you get a chip in this it's quite rubbery it is plastic so it absorbs stone chips really well and if it does go through it's obviously everyone knows this self heals so every, any scratches self heals with heat so if you scratch it you can do what you want with it pour hot water on it, it disappears absolutely fine this doesn't do this i think i might have seen some people claiming it does but it, trust me it does not do this there's no self-healing properties in this whatsoever because it, it, it just doesn't do it it's not possible that is a downside and so this was a black car and it was scratched and it was not washed with care and everything like that, used through the winter. You would have the swirl marks in it, just like you would with paint. And that's a big thing for me. So imagine these cars were both black cars. This was Pete Piest. You'd have the swirl marks in this, just like you would. Yes, you can polish them out, just like it was paint. There's no bother, you can polish it out. Just think of it as paint. This would look like glass just from heat from the sun, or pouring warm water off it, or going over it with a hairdryer, it would look like glass. It would not be any swirl marks. That's massive for me. The self-healing properties and PBF kick ass. Then, this gets chips. You can see it's been touched in. It's just like paint. It is paint, but it peels off. So it does help that this car is blue, so it's just what we're talking about. So you've got a lot of chips on the car. These aren't dirt, these are chips. Really, you've got the chips in it, just as if you didn't have PBS on it. But as you can see the blue, there is a chance that that hasn't damaged the paint below. There is a chance. But I wouldn't like to put money on that if I'm being honest, because it's totally removed the product. So the paint's now on show. So as for protecting the paint, we can zoom in on mine. We should have cleaned my car before we used this, shouldn't we? I know it's not clean, and I know you're gonna say, well, all these marks could be it, but they're not. There's no stone chips that have penetrated this PPF. Come on, Nate, let's find some for the people. Well, let's focus on the bonnet. That's easier to see. And this bonnet always gets battered. Let's see if there are any. I haven't even checked since we did it a year ago. So let's compare that on this part car. Yeah. There you go. I'll be honest, I did expect to find more. Got th These are chips. These are big chips. So, for protection to the paint underneath the car, which is what we're trying to achieve, I don't think PPS is even comparable to PPF because it absorbs the damage better, it self-heals. Don't get me wrong, self-healing properties in PPF aren't all the way through. So they're in the top 10% of the film. So if you go through that top 10%, it's not gonna disappear, but it will protect the paint below. You've really gotta be unlucky with the sharpest of stone or something to pierce PPF and damage the paint below it. I don't believe for protecting the paint that's underneath, green wrap on that, blue paint on that, I don't believe the PPS is comparable to this. It's, it's just not. It chips just like paint. You've got a chance it's not gonna take the paint below it, but it's a very small chance. The PPF, because it's a soft plastic, it absorbs stuff better. When that stone hits it, it slows it down and it just bounces it off. It doesn't get through. That's just basically paint, paint that peels off. So it's like temporary paint, which is worse than real paint. And then obviously, I just want to talk about there's different types. Certain companies are promoting certain brands, but it's the same product, it's just called, they've called it something else. They might say, you can't get this product anywhere else. That is true in a way, because you can't get that product with that name anywhere else because they've created the name. That product that's in the tin that they're applying to your car that is exactly the same as sold everywhere else. It is made by a company called Engenico, and I believe they are the only people who make it because they patented it. They're based in Worcestershire, they've been making it for like five, six years, I believe. They are the only ones that make the product. They supply all the other shops offering the PPS. Then those other shops 
obviously try and make it sound like they're the only ones so they can charge what they want and that their product's better than everyone else. That's not true. Is applied better? I don't want to talk about the quality of the application to this vehicle because I believe applied in the same way, in a, in a good enough way for it to do what it wants to do, protecting. But there are some defects in it that you need polishing out, some just contamination. So I don't really want to talk about that. And yes, if you go to certain places, they're going to do a better job than others. But still, the product is the same, and you're still going to have the downsides to what we've discussed, I believe. So stripping the vehicle, less protection for the paint, doesn't self heal. Hope you find this really informative. We tried to do it totally unbiased. I wanted to answer my own questions because I've seen this stuff all over line, talked about on forums, and I'm certainly not one person to think, oh, we do that, so that's automatically the best. I want to know if we need to be investing in this stuff now, bringing this in house, offering it to our customers to offer them the best protection for their vehicle, because that is all we are about here. I've answered my question. At the moment, hell no. That is not an alternative. It's got, it's got some pros, but they do not outweigh pros on the PVF. I am 100%, we are offering the best protection that's on the market right now. The Expel PPF, installed correctly, is the best protection for a car. There's no, there's no doubt about it today. This, I think, early stages, I think it has massive potential. If they could solve some of the issues, so for me, if they could solve it so this could be applied without stripping the vehicle, and add self-healing properties in it, this could be a real gem. The only way to add the self-healing properties is to make it a bit more rubber, like the PPF, like plasticky, and then if they did that, it would rebound the impacts better and then protect, provide better protection. Then I think this would be a good product. Then I think we could see manufacturers offering it, but I think the product has a lot of development to go through yet. I think we're talking five, 10 years, but you gotta remember, PPF is still gonna evolve in those five, 10 years. It's, it's evolved massively in the last 10 years. 10 years ago, this stuff didn't self-heal, self-heals now. So while this is developing, this is gonna develop at the same time. What's gonna be better? I don't know who's gonna win the race. At the moment, PPF is winning the race by a far mile. Thank you for watching. It's been great talking to you. Really please try and check out the rest of our videos if you've liked this video. Uh, if you've come from other places and not seen our stuff before, we've got loads of videos. Most of them all behind the scenes stuff, going on different weeks, what goes on with the team and all the banter and all the nice work we do. So please like, subscribe, and we are really interested. Most importantly, let us know in the comments what you think. If I've been fair, if I if I shown bias to the PPF just because I've chose PPF in the end, I don't know, I hope not. But let me know down below, really interested to find out. Thank you, see you again.